already figured out someone's been feeding the information. If so, your life is in danger. I want to. Rue. I can return to Alpha Protocol. I can still help you from the inside. I can't just throw you to the wolves. Ah, crap. If you're sure. If I let anything happen to you now, I'd never forgive myself. Trust me, it's purely selfish. Just be careful. I think we're only going to get one shot at this. This could be the last time we see each other. Don't count on it. I'm not letting you off the hook that easy. What are you going to do? Call in a few favors. If Alpha Protocol thinks it's the only one with an army, they're in for a shock. Yeah, I've got like Shahid. I'm pretty sure everybody that was my enemy is now my like ally. Wait, this is my computer? Really? <laughs> what a shitty computer. Whoa. Holy crap. Mr. Thornton. When we last spoke in person, I gave you my solemn promise that I would obtain further information in exchange for my life. I see. I said we would meet again, as I and I promised that I would not hide. So I propose that we meet in person on neutral ground. Then and there, I will divulge what I know. Oh dang! Here we go, Mr. Thornton. I will spare you any pleasantries. The Chinese secret police suspect there is an agency known as Alpha Protocol, operated by American agents, but without the official public backing of the U.S. government. I say suspect because there has been no confirmation. Attached is the information I could find on the matter. No doubt you'll find this information to be of use. OD. Nice. And then we've got Stephen Heck, F yeah. Oh Jesus Christ, why? Mike, I have important news. I totally did it, two checks at once, hells yeah. What are you up to? My contacts have my contacts been asking me for info on the big old Michael F. Thornton. What is your middle name anyway? I got stoned off my ass and got and a minotaur told me if I it was Finnegan. But I doubt the credibility of his argument. So yeah, I got I guess the Russian, the Euros, the Chinese, a ton of agencies are looking out for are looking out of a I think that means out for a thought and matching your ugly mug. Don't worry, it's me. We go way back. Remember that time I told you about the two chicks at once? Anyway, sounds like you've been a busy boy. Drop me a line sometime. Business banter. <laughs> I could be blunt. No, I'll try that. Banter with him. Wow, two ladies simultaneously. Did they collectively weigh less than six hundred pounds? Getting off of the subject of fat chicks, I need a favor if you're willing. I need to pay my uncle Sam a visit. Problem is, I don't exactly. Uh, I don't know exactly where the reunion will take place yet. And I don't think I can take you with me. I'm going to send you instructions on tracking my location via PDA. Or via my PDA, which I'll leave at a pre-arranged location. If you can follow the instructions on it, I can guarantee you a, a veritable buffet of maiming. Think about it. MT. Boo da boo ba da. Nice. Uh, okay. Oh. Hey Mike, intercepted an internal memo sent to Leyland. Mina. Okay, Mr. Leyland, I've run a number. I've run the numbers and we're short of our projections for this quarter. Our stock price is rebounding and we've been unable to return to last year's high. Investor confidence is dwindling and we're in no position to report why so much money has been taken out of, a, of our Western and Eastern general funds. I remain rather optimistic. We've created, f we've created for ourselves a good deal of fertile soil in Russia, Italy and Taiwan. Sure, we've had a few threads unravel, but such is the cost of doing business. The EU is a small push... Uh, small push away from Patriot Act style panic. Moscow's underworld remains a profitable, even if unstable, cash crop. Or cash crop. And the Sung incident has turned Taiwan into a wellspring of defense contracts. As per your request, I've moved the sum you requested for your personal security entourage, though I regret to inform you that I could not fulfill some of the personal or personnel and hardware requests included in your missive. I apologize for the inconvenience. Okay. Mike, believe it or not, I'm still in Taipei. I'm guessing you got out, but with Sung's assassination, well, let's just say there's too much going on to leave right now. I've never seen things so tense, but the demonstrations aren't nearly as bad as I would have thought. People are furious and they're eager to lay the blame even before all the facts are in, but at least any potential violence that could have occurred has been contained by the local authorities. Still, whatever happens here, it's going to start a chain reaction in Asia. I can feel it. Oh, note to self. Oh, yeah, I got these. I think from the last mission. Mr. Leyland. As you predicted, the People's Republic of China has a glut of US dollars and they're paying handsomely for weaponry. The Taiwan government can't step to the same price, but we've given them a discount and in doing so, I think we've bypassed the bidding war 
for that their highway reconstruction contract. Attached is a list of itemized sales. We've gone to great lengths to make sure we are selling weapons with different ammunition requirements if slash when a fight not fighting breaks out. We don't want them scrounging each other's ammo, we want them coming back to us for more bullets. If best friend is a success, we should look into selling the services of military advisors to both sides, obviously. I'm suggesting we step up our foreign language training so that we'll have supply to match the demand. Send that to Scarlet. Miss Lake. Found some dirt on Halbeck that might make for interesting headline news. Seems Halbeck is selling weapons to both the People's Republic of China as well as Taiwan. Since the only thing more profitable than selling weapons is selling weapons to both sides on a, of a conflict. I don't know if that's actually illegal or just morally suspect. But I'm sure the Taiwanese and Chinese media outlets would love to hear about all of this. Ding ding! Uh, whoa. This... Wait, this email sent from a, the CIA listening post. Pete, my contact in Taipei confirms that Sung is dead. There aren't... They aren't planning on denying this one. Think they are going to go full martyr on this. Guess there's an upside though. Taiwanese Secret Service found out about a plot to start a riot during the speech. Given the headcount, density, and p political nature of it all... That could have been a very bloody riot. Between you and me, the death of innocent people is a tragedy. The death of a politician is a sign of justice. Checked. Oh, wait, what? Oh, there we go. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. We have no intel. What? Wait, so... Yeah, my bed. The bed is here. That is weird. In all fairness, it's a very claustrophobic place, it would seem. Exit! Oh! Oh! Contact Scarlet. Sheikh Allah Shaheed. Sure. Contact Scarlet Lake. She's in Taipei, though. That wouldn't work, would it? Or are we actually meeting in person? I suppose. Go! You have received a call from Scarlet Lake. Meet up with her, see what she wants, and pass along evidence of Halbeck's involvement for to her for safekeeping. Boom. Mm-hmm. Hotel? What? Come in, Mike. Oh my god, are we gonna get to get jiggy with it again? You don't seem surprised. How did you know it was me? I would have known if it wasn't you. Footsteps are like signatures. That's an interesting skill to have picked up. In case you haven't guessed already, I don't have much of a social life. Mm. What is it you needed, Mike? Got another story to pass along? Yes, but it's complicated. That so? What a surprise. Very little about you seems simple. I was pretty certain you might be Interpol or military. But my gut tells me intelligence. But none of my contacts have heard of you. I am a very mysterious person. So you've been checking up on me. I didn't want to, but you really don't leave me much choice if I want to know the truth. If I was intelligence, is that something you think I'd tell a journalist? You tell me. And I'd like you to be honest with me, if you can. Fine. I think I deserve that much. There's not much to say. I used to work for the United States government. I still do, in my own way. What do you mean? I'm not exactly welcome back home. When you met me in Saudi Arabia, that was my last official mission with the U.S. After that, I've been on my own. Except for people I've met on the way. Like you. It doesn't sound like you've had a chance to relax in Saudi Arabia. Nope. That's an understatement. My military and intelligence contacts didn't have much on you. Not surprising. So, I checked the corporate gossip. Halbeck's taken quite an interest in you. Let's just say Leyland and I don't see eye to eye on business practices. You ever met him? At press conferences? Quite the snake. But that doesn't explain why Halbeck would be after you. I accidentally discovered something in Saudi Arabia I shouldn't have. Something that could ruin Halbeck. What did you find out? I found they'd been selling weapons to Al Samad, and I got proof. Is that why you're here? I don't trust anyone else with it. And if something happens to me, then the world needs to know. It's that bad, huh? Mm -hmm. Pretty bad. I'll make sure it gets where it needs to go. Are you going to be all right? I have no idea. Do you need to leave right now? Oh, <laughs> hell no! No, 
I can stay. I like how the music just kits in. Considering I might not see you again, I'd like that. The world can. Woohoo! That's two people I've banged. Yes. Is Mina gonna be pissed? <laughs> I slept with her and Scarlet. What about Z? <laughs> She's the last person. Somehow I doubt that would be a possibility. Can I sleep with Shahid? <laughs> uh, crap. Um, I guess I'll put pistols up. Maybe I'll go up to two. Yeah, fuck it. Assault rifles. Boom, boom, boom. Bing, bang, and the babbity bibbity. Okay. I didn't want to go on this. Not, not, no, 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 no. Checkpoint. No email. Yes. Please don't say I'm going to get like 20 after every mission. I got F, yeah. Oh, hello, Mike. Wow, where'd you find this? Actually, I'm sure if you told me, you'd have to kill me. I'll give my editor a call. I think it, if I hurry, I can get this into a print piece circulated around the Pacific Rim. Should make for an interesting read, that's for sure. Nice. I'm going to get a grand. Boop. This is an automated reply. You've reached Stephen. <laughs> Stephen Heck, ex Esquire. I'm currently doing things of extreme importance and I'm unlikely to check my email in the near future. Don't despair, I have a large quantity of narcotics hidden in my anus in case I'm buried alive. What the fuck? <laughs> His replies are very interesting. Alright, contact Sheik Ala Shahid. Or oh, Ali Shahid. Yeah. Meet with Sheik Ali Shahid, determine what else he knows concerning Halbeck and the missiles, then either enlist his aid or finish your mission in Saudi Arabia by eliminating him and his men. What? Why would I eliminate him? He's been nothing but good. To eliminate him would be ridiculous and stupid. Welcome, Agent Thornton. This is the meeting I spoke of long ago in Saudi Arabia, I believe. I have much to share with you. Is it about Halbeck? A portion of it is, yes. The rest concerns its partner, your Alpha Protocol program. But that, that will cost you. I don't have much more to give, Shahid. And I did spare your life before. You know as well as I do, these events that Halbeck has set in motion they are not well researched. True. They are conflicts. And then there are wars. What they have started, it is a fire that will sweep the globe. And that concerns you. When these events will make my country suffer more than it deserves? Yes. And when another may shoulder the rightful blame? Again, yes. Rightful blame. Indeed. Are you prepared to betray your own country, Agent Thornton? When I speak of blame, it is the United States that is the sure. one responsible for these events. I've come this far, and I'm already acting against its best intentions, apparently. And you have no doubts on this? As soon as they conspired with Halbeck, they ceased being the government I'm fighting for. Even though you once owed them allegiance? My duty isn't to them. My duty is to make sure no one uses other nations as a playground for their financial or religious agendas, especially if people get killed because of it. I see. You are an admirable man, Agent Thornton. I misjudged you when we first met. <laughs> I don't think so. And after this, we're through. So if you're thinking of replacing Halbeck and causing more trouble, I'll track you down. With or without Alpha Protocol. Very well. You should know the Alpha Protocol you are under. It is designed for such abuse, and you are a victim of it. I know. But I walked into it, and it's my job to fix it. I see. But, you have come for help, or simply to call a favor due. I have information that should be of use to you in hurting Halbeck. Mm -hmm. Accounts, transactions, and knowledge of their involvement with your program. And of course, the missile codes you asked for. Although I fail to see what use they are to you. That's a start. A start? Yes. I need you to broadcast something for me. I have a suspicion that's going to cause quite a stir where I'm headed. Hmm. Cool. Hmm.
Uh, do I have a new email? Oh. No! Still no intel. Surprisingly. Wow, the last mission we have is to infiltrate Alpha Protocol. And that's probably going to be one of the longest missions there is. So, with that in mind, I think I'm actually going to call that the end of the session. And then next next session will literally just be doing the last... Um, the last... Fuck, what am I on about? The last mission for the game. So, yeah. That's going to be the end of this session. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And until next time, take care.